What'd you get there? A kitty. Kitty? What do you got here? Well, I got kitty litter and a kitty pool. So we got all the kitties today. Yes. In today's video, we are filling a kitty pool with kitty litter. We're not gonna put the cat in the pool, don't worry. That would be really, really mean. We're gonna fill up the pool with water in this little hose here. It's already on, cool. Don't do that, cats don't like water. You wanna put the cat inside? Yes, you ready to go inside? You did a good job. Say bye to the cat. <laughs> bye kitty. Come on. Here's the basic idea. We know that kitty litter is absorbent, so we're gonna fill a kitty pool with water and see how much kitty litter it takes to absorb all the water. Then we're gonna make some sand castles and other things out of the kitty litter that's been hardened. So I'm gonna start filling up the pool here. So we just got a kitty pool. You can get it at Walmart, Target. It's like five to $10. And then we got a bunch of kitty litter. So I've done some calculations from prototyping of how much kitty litter we're going to need. If we fill this thing up halfway, it should be about 13 gallons of water, and then we should have about eight gallons of kitty litter to absorb it all. We'll see if that's right, see if uh, the scaling up of the calculations is correct, and we're gonna do so many interesting things with kitty litter. So here's something I learned. So kitty litter is a $2 billion industry. It's a lot of money on kitty litter because they actually mine five billion pounds of the clay that's in kitty litter. Kitty, kitty litter is like clay. And in our testing, it absolutely turns to clay. It does. It's amazing how absorbent this stuff is. As we pour in the kitty litter, what we'll begin to see, which is really cool, is you'll see the kitty litter kind of pile up on top of itself. <laughs> see what I was talking about? It really piles on top of itself as you pour it in and mm -hmm. really like sticks to itself. Each of these is 20 pounds. 20 pounds. So right now we're putting 40 pounds of kitty litter it into our pool. Let's spread it out a little bit more. Yeehaw. Now, something that is interesting is some kitty litters have baking soda in it, which is why we're getting this little bit of a bubbly reaction. Mm -hmm. It's to absorb the smells, right? So some people put baking soda in their fridge to absorb the smells. You can do the same thing with kitty litter if it isn't made with kitty litter. You can like put it down and then put the kitty litter in. I feel like I'm a kitty litter salesman. This is like, I know too much about kitty litter now. Oh, that's fun. Is it? absorbed all the water on my hands. It looks like that, uh, the candy Dippin' Dots. We do have a bunch of kitty litter in here. So this is the, the last remaining kitty litter. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. It's 100 pounds of kitty litter. 100 pounds of kitty litter in here. <laughs> this is insane. All right, well, this is all we got left. So hopefully it's able to absorb it all. So this is how much. I feel like we should give it a waiting period also to see if it like absorbs any more. Absorbs some more. Cause some of this is not completely broken down and completely absorbed. I'm very interested about this foam that's foam formed on top. Ooh, what's it smell like? Um, fabric softener. <laughs> it kind of does. All right, kitty, nice. kitty, kitty. Ooh, it's looking absorbent. I feel like we just let this one sit and see what it does. You want me to pour it all in or hold? Eh, I say pour it all. Pour it all. So if for some reason we have too much kitty litter in here, we can just add more water to make it more formable clay-like. Look, I feel like we're, we've got a kitty island. Kitty island. Kitty litter island. 100 pounds of kitty litter. 100 pounds? I wonder how long this would last. Like what kind of supply is this for like a normal, a normal cat? Well, the lid says, Maintain three to four inches in the uh, kitty litter box itself, so. So how long does it take a cat to pee 13 gallons worth of <laughs> cat pee? All right, let's let it just uh, sit. I wanna see if like the foam can go away and maybe we can come up with something to like scoop the foam off. All right, so we thought maybe there would be another absorption period. There was not. We've maxed out complete absorption. Foam is still here too. Nothing really changed. All right, well that's enough of the kitty pool. Now, let's take out the... Kitty litter sandcastles, kitty litter sandcastles. What she said. So we will take out the, <laughs> the clay, the, the kitty litter, put it in our bucket here, and we're gonna make some sandcastles out of them and see how well they hold up. So the type of clay that we got here, so most kitty litters are made with uh, betonite which is a clay, and you actually, what's really interesting is that kitty litter has trace amounts of radiation and can actually set up Geiger counters. So there's things that detect radiation. 
So like large amounts of kitty litter have actually set off radiation monitors and like hauling trucks and stuff like that, which is hilarious. Hmm. Um, it's Can made you imagine with, being like, sir, you have a lot of have? radiation. All, I'm, all I got is kitty litter. Right? <laughs> it's got uranium-238, thorium, I think it's 232, and, and then potassium. potassium K40. So here is your NASA fact of the day, all right? So uranium-238. If you've heard of Voyagers, so the spacecraft we launched in 1977, they have a golden record on the top, and there is a piece of pure uranium-238 on it. Hmm. Now it decays at a rate of about half of it will be gone in 4.5 billion years. What this means is that we sent like a time capsule into the solar system, and like outside, and if aliens find it, they can look at the uranium-238 and go, oh, it's half gone, this spacecraft launched four and a half billion years ago. Uranium, space, Kitty now, litter. let's make a castle. This feels like cement. So there is so much water in this clay. So much. I feel like it's also really sticky, so it might not come well, out. That was a uh, bang. And it might not hold together. I have faith in it. Wow. So it didn't. You got a nice block. Maybe I got to push it more to hold. So I am actually doing what you did not, and I'm pressing mine in and trying to get some of the some of the excess moisture out to see if I can make some more space and really compact it. It's kind of hard to grab. It's a little slippery. It's got some shape to it. Yay! The turn out better than mine. It does, it's got some shape. It, definitely nothing got stuck in here. I think I had a little bit of an air bubble over there, kind of fell apart, but that's okay. All right, let's try this again. Now this one's a little different, so there's more sides and I've pushed really hard and tried to make it even. I love that you have to splat it. I think there's just too much moisture. What if we have it like sit out for a little bit and we come back and we, you want to like test it. <laughs> you have to splat it down so hard you can't even like see our poor little turtle here. It's sticking too. It's just not coming out. It's just not coming out at all. That's, that's just I definitely not think it's it's just too wet. Too too wet. Too much moisture. Now when I was prepping for this video, there's no way that I thought that 100 pounds of kitty litter was going to leave us in this situation. I definitely thought it was going to be way more absorbent and that we would have a um, not as wet compound to stick to uh -huh. itself. I feel like this is the right consistency for a mud mask. <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay. That's a whole lot more than I put on you cleaning my pores. Yep. Well, so according to Nate, right, this stuff will take a very, very, very long time to cure. Hmm. So I don't think we're going to be able to peel this stuff off. <laughs> oh, we're doing the Macarena? <laughs> well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, we always got cool videos, so make sure you click the subscribe button down there to keep coming back. And talk to you next time. See you then. <laughs>